we're back. Yes, we are. Mm. Back today with one from uh, Mr. Michael Price of Price's Spices. And today we have Haitian Sensation. Oh, yeah. 2019 two star. Two star. Great Taste Award winner. Mango and Scotch Bonnet chili sauce. There we go. In this little bottle that is marked as four out of five on the chili scale, uh, it says Jalfrezi heat. I hope it doesn't taste like a Jalfrezi because I'm not a big fan of them, to be honest. I think it will probably taste a little bit different to a Jalfrezi. I hope so. Um, so in here we have Kassar Mango Pulp, which is Kassar Mango Sugar Water Citric Acid, 71.4%. That's a good load of mango in there, isn't it? Mamatos. Mm -hmm. Distilled white vinegar, onion, white white vinegar. Scotch bonnet chili, 4.2%. So, nice That's bit of bonnet. Garlic, lemon juice, ginger, salt and pepper. So I'm thinking this is going to be a mango forward sauce. Hopefully mango-y enough to hide the tomato. <laughs> ah. Let's give it a go. Interesting. Oh, we can smell the mango, but it smells quite savoury, doesn't it? Mmm. Getting the garlic, I think. Yeah, the garlic and the onion. Mm. And, the, and the bonnets definitely the bonnets the mango is there definitely there in the in the smell but it do, it doesn't smell as sweet <coughs> as I thought it was going to let's have a look at the pork great consistency oh wow isn't it? look at that Nice, nice pour, but it's got some texture there to it as mm. well, doesn't it? It's on the spoon. Yeah, I'm getting much more of the mango on the spoon when it's come out. But yeah, it's still got a really interesting savouriness to it. So I'm quite, yeah. I'm quite keen to see how this is. Yeah, let's go. sweetness is there but it's a really a nice fruity sweetness it's not syrupy sweet it's that lovely natural sweetness um you get the onions and the garlic mm. but that mango the actual kind of the, the mango perfume i want to call it it's just kind of there in the background all the way and then you just get that heat come in sort of halfway through that starts to build from the bonnets and that's, so that's a nice level of heat that as I always do, in on the tongue, let it fall off the side, round the mouth, and then swallow. Onion, garlic, on the tongue. As it fell down the side of my tongue, mango. Masses of mango flavour there. Um, as it sort of went down as I swallowed, here comes the chili so it's a staged mm -hmm. sauce uh, in terms of flavor which is always a good thing um, surprisingly warm given that it's only 4.2 percent bonnets yeah yeah it is it is warm yeah, when I, warm. Yeah, well, yeah yeah but when I, I saw 4.2 percent I thought it was going to be quite mild sauce but it actually yeah it, it's kind of a nice mm. nice medium heat there um yeah it would certainly give a, a nice zing to anything that you put it on i think wouldn't it mm. so. yeah pretty pretty much anything grilled yeah. um you could use that 
possibly with a little bit more vinegar as a vinaigrette. If you had a really nice crispy salad, if you're doing like a, mm. a Waldorf salad where you've got like the walnuts and the crispy apple and stuff like that, I think, and, and cabbage and stuff, I think that would be amazing with that. Um, I would probably even use it um, sort of with some coleslaw, maybe with like a little bit of mayonnaise or something like that to do a, a coleslaw with. Yeah. And add a bit of extra fruitiness to it or crumb fresh instead of mayonnaise. I think that could work really well with that. Or as a dip. Um, Mix it up with salad cream, mayonnaise. Yeah, because um, it's, it's nice. It's got white wine vinegar in it, but it, hmm. and and the um, distilled white vinegar. But it's not vinegary because you've got that natural sweetness that's coming through. So it yeah. can take being so added well to balanced. something that's got a little bit more vinegar. Um, that would be great with with noodles. So stir fries, sort of dipping your spring rolls and bits like that in it because there's nothing in there that would sort of detract from sort of being an oriental yeah i, th I think that sauce. that would work with uh, bear me out here i think that would work if you had um like barbecue ribs and they were you know covered in barbecue sauce mm -hmm. and then cooked and they had that barbecue thing going on already i think that over the top would just take them to the next level yeah a little bit a little bit of fruitiness a little bit mm. of fruit. But yeah, you definitely that would you know any any barbecue that would grace you know some grilled chicken kebabs, um, vegetable kebabs would be lovely with that as well. Mm. Um, I think there's again I think it's a massively versatile sauce that just because it's mango, it's not limiting its uses. No, I probably wouldn't have it maybe as a like an ice cream sauce there's a little, little bit too bit, much onion yeah a bit too savory for that for that but you know as a, a sweeter fruity sauce very with good savory food that would be amazing so pricespices.com is where you need to go for it um go and check it out haitian a sensation there is a hotter version i think called haitian hotter uh, Haitian hottie um, that he does which I think is uh, slightly spicier peppers than these ones heat wise for you um, I would say it's probably a three for me yeah I think a three three is a good score three. for that yeah. um, probably not you don't want it to be your first taste of chilli maybe no um, but if you've had chilli stuff before, you'll be absolutely fine with that. Um, mm, very tasty. Very nice. Very, very nice. Very nice. That on a pizza. Oh. Um, <laughs> it's alright, it's not it's not pineapple, so yeah, oh. you can have it. <laughs> right, well, I think that's quite enough from us for now. Absolutely. So thank you ever so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care. And we'll see you in the next one.